Hey you folks, Quillatine here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play U4, Mandate of Heaven! Or as I like to think of it, either you die to the Ming, or you see bec yourself become the Ming. Which is what we're working on right now! We've uh, we've expanded into their bits a little bit over here. Um, one thing I want to do here, we just took some territory from them. Now, with the new absolutism, you lose uh, absolutism if you increase autonomy. However, if we're currently sitting at zero, I'm going to hope that we don't go negative, and I'm hoping that it also doesn't remember that, you know, it doesn't keep it as a buff for X number of time. I think it's an absolute value, absolutism, that is. So I'm expecting that we can probably just hit this button for the autonomy and not have any real problems. So let's find out, because over here we just took some provinces. So if we were to buff their autonomy just to prevent certain problems from developing, yeah, we're just at zero. I don't see anything persisting over here. So I think it's perfectly fine for us to do that. In fact, it might be an excellent time for us to do a bit of a pass through anywhere that might be having issues. Um, that is a lot of autonomy over here. Um, oh, I think we're doing some religious conversion. I'm still going to go ahead and do this because I really want to avoid, in particular, the separatist ones. That's low enough that that's probably not going to be an issue for a good long time, right? 13 years, 12, 12. Yeah, all right. I think that's good enough. We've got war exhaustion that's going to burn away. That's going to help as well. We are not going to hit this yet because we're going to go and want to do the institution. We're going to we're going to kill as much time as possible. Basically, when Diplo Power gets capped, which is currently at a cap of 1158 and climbing as our institution tech penalty goes up. When we're about to hit this, that's when we'll go ahead and embrace it. We're trying to keep some money around, of which we have a great mensch right now. Oh, right, because I just took a bunch from, from the Ming. Uh, but yeah, there's no reason to accelerate that. I mean, the sooner we hit this button, the sooner we get 5% more production efficiency, which will mean, you know, slightly bigger income. But I think overall, we're going to be best off if we just chill. Um, okay. Who's this? Oh, that was probably just um, just natives from the last game. That's all right. Uh, and yeah, these units are also going to go in, and stand in these provinces, although they are zero uh, unrest. We do have a little bit down here in Korea. I'm going to split you in half. And send a group down here to do that. And you're still moving over here, which is fine. I'll split you, just cut back on attrition. A colony just became self-sustaining. Excellent. Does that free up a colonist? No, because we'd already pulled that colonist and we sent it over here. So that's going to be fine. You think it would happen a lot faster, right? Could we just tell them to move over by one province instead of, you know, having to wait ages to get shipped out again? I don't know. He probably wants to see his family or something silly like that. All right, let's break out the light ships. So... This is very interesting. We have 29% of the trade value in this trade node right now without any ships. I mean, we have a merchant, which is giving us two, and that's it. That's really good. I think we're still going to send our light ships over there. So protect trade in Beijing. Again, the trade nodes here, eh, there's ways we can tune it to get better. I'm, I'm almost certain, but I don't know. In terms of, like, there's ways we could probably tune it to make more money is what I'm, I'm trying to say. But I think we'll just put up with it as is, and it's going to be fine. So we're not hitting this button. We're not doing that. Disloyal Estates is you. we got to get the Merchant Guilds back in here. I mean, we gave them enough goddamn land. We need to get their influence higher, but it's... They got minus 10 from the Celestial Empire. Ah. And the Tides defend it as well. Hmm. They might be... Those merchants might be kind of tricky to get them back up there. It's not a big deal. It would just be really nice so that we could get um, another boost to our settlement stuff. Okay, yeah, refuse to import food has gone away, and that's fine. We can make states. Um, we're still behind on admin power, on admin tech, rather, but we're done going through our admin ideas, so we could consider making some new states. Hello. Um, for, like, and then, you know, doing the, the state coring. It's definitely a possibility. It's something we can think about. Not 100% there right now. We are below our force limit because we got rid of those mercs. Yeah, so I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, just to get this to a pack of 25. I suspect they have enough to get rid of all the unrest as is, and they do. Although, perhaps we'll go ahead and lower our army maintenance at this point to, I don't know, half? It's probably still going to be fine. Master of Mint has died. So, we can consider maybe getting a level 3 half-price advisor. Um... Lower national unrest guy? I mean, I guess that's fine. He's still a half-price dude. It'll boost the influence. Oh, we can't boost the influence of these guys. Never mind. They're way too high up there. So, I think we'll get the level 3 Master of the Mint. By not or not forcing us to spend money to, or spend admin to decrease our inflation, he's going to be worth that much more 
um, admin, effectively. So our forts are down, that's good, you've got that. No interest. I can't believe we did, we did the whole war without a single loan. That's amazing. No unrest here whatsoever. Everything is good. Indeed. So, yeah. Hmm. Well. These would be really good states. And actually, one of these is already a state. You're already a state over here. Yeah. We probably want to state this area because it's very valuable and has the correct cultures in here. Well, it has a mix of different cultures, but Beijing with its 37 development is Zili. And so I think what we'll want to do is bring them in. Local traders demand aid, lose ducats, or one province gets some unrest in this and this and this. You know what? We'll just eat the ducats in this particular scenario. That's going to be okay. Um, do I want... I don't want to overspend because I want to make sure I can embrace our institution. Uh, there we go. Let's do that. But I think it's probably worth going and building some of these trade buildings. And I'm going to keep an eye over here first because it's within our primary trade node. So even if it's not the biggest money makers, see, like, the, there we can get places that build up to 30, um, and that would be just, you know, raw production money. But these will go into my trade node where I have 87% of the trade, so I get the double dip. So I think it's okay to do some of this. Uh, one more, and that'll be it. I still have enough money to embrace the institution, although if I state, it'll get more expensive. So I'm going to want to embrace before I state... Uh, is it just called the Beijing? North Hebei. All right. Uh, oh, your influence just dropped. Well, there you go. I could have gotten an advisor. Well, it would still increase your, your influence pretty darn high. So I think we'll wait a little bit longer before we do anything like that. We could raise levies, but no. You're nearly there, which is nice. Uh, we have lost the colonialism CB against Great Britain. How come? Did they form a colony over here? Hmm. Hmm. Jalaska. We still have, like, an excess of troops over here. There's no reason we need to keep this many. Although, is it time? Well, we can't declare on the Aztecs. Um, Zhu over here, you are you are one of my tributaries as well. And that's fine. I mean, you know, do I have too many tributaries? That are the, Is that going to block my expansion? Not really. I think it's okay to do this. Especially, again, right now while we don't have the admin efficiency. And if I wanted to conquer more land over here, probably doing something like declaring on the British would be the way to go. Uh, I'm going to take, like, half of you and send you back over here. I think I'm going to be very happy with that. All right. Manpower coming up. K Sakisho. We got bandits. We can establish Sakisho. That's very expensive. For 20 years of less unrest, more taxes, more fort defense, or do nothing. That is very expensive, and we want to be able to embrace that institution. But, I mean, we're still making good money for now. We'll make more money. Damn, I wish I hadn't... I guess I could cancel some of those buildings. Maybe I'll do that, because this seems like a good idea. Right now, embracing is going to cost us, what, 2300 Uh, That's pretty far away. All right, let's keep that one building, and that's going to be fine. Because, again, I want to wait as long as possible, because I'm hoping the institution spreads to a couple more provinces along the way. I mean, if we take a look at... Um, over here. Mm, Tooltip. Oh, there we go. 49%. 63, 64. Yeah, we might be able to get a few more of these go. Things have spread over here too. Although they're not about to go. Uh, for now, we're okay. Religion in Gaiju changes to Shinto. Alright. That's fine. I don't mind that. Mm, do we want to rebuild some of our infantry in some of these places? I think that's probably okay. Wow, oh, the supply limit here is huge. Let me do a little bit of this. I realize, again, it's a little bit of money, but that's a good idea, I think. Get you ready ahead of time. All right, but yes, let's stop spending that cash. Let's bring up the speed. Uh, more, oh, the, okay, estates, merchant guild, influence. Is that good enough for us to get anything going on here? Not yet. And that just tanks their loyalty. Again, I could give them more land, but... I don't know, man. So you're doing that. Australia. Uh, we've only got... Do we only have three colonies going on right now? Yes, we do. Treasure fleet, good. So let's go ahead and increase this a little bit. We're going to pull the settler out of here. And we're going to throw an extra settler over here. Sorry. Not there. 
here. Excellent. We'll get Australia going a little bit faster. So just sucking up here. We'll have to take a look if more vassals become available soon. Whoa! Ayuthaya, who's my ally. It's a defensive war. They're at war with a lot of people. Oh, it's a punitive war. They're coalition fired. Hmm. Five years negative diplo rep. Lose some prestige. That's an interesting question. I mean, we can say yes and not do anything. Say yes, just send some ships down there. I guess we'll say yes. We can bring in Ayuthaya against Ming next time. Uh, we're going to unmothball you. Hi, naval attrition. Oh, it's my transport ships. Uh, tell you what, why don't you dock yourself in Hawaii for a little bit? Just to repair. Naval improvements is expired. Oh, you're going home at war. Don't do that. Stay out there. So, how's our trade power now? 82% over here. Oh, new flagship! Yeah, let's go ahead and get a new galleon. That's going to be fine. And you can go over to here. So, we could probably do something like... Let's stop you. Split, split. Grab the 25. Go and park you along with the heavies. And then... So, 75% of the ships that we had before. Come on. I just want to grab you guys. No, not the other one who's leaving. God damn it. Why is it impossible to select the things I want? It's fine. It's fine. You're going to protect trade in Beijing, and that's probably still going to be a ridiculous amount of power. You guys are still repairing. We're going to let you do that. Say so 75%. That's pretty fine. I don't even need a merchant over here. Well, I don't want it going north to Siberia, but no one's trying to pull trade that way. So let's recall this merchant. And figure out where we want to send him. Now, we are starting to collect trade over here, yes? We are collecting trade over here and getting a fair amount. We get a four gold without any real trade power here. Um, you're going to... The Malacus. What we might do is increase the transfer trade. We don't need to steer it, though. Oh, and one guy's not actually back yet. We don't need to steer it here, but we could apply a little bit more pressure. You have to steer that way. What about um, overseas? We have you flowing into here. There, right here. That's what we want to do, Rio Grande. There's not a lot of trade there right now, but we're going to try to shove it over to Mexico and then keep sending that over this way. If and we can. That sounds pretty good. Alright, are you still uh, you're still pretty busted up? So we'll just chill a little bit longer. Oh, it automatically put my maintenance up to max. I don't think I need to do that. We're not going to fight. Yeah, yeah, you can put out the warning. That's going to be fine. Army's under attack here, but we should be okay. Even at half maintenance, everything is easy peasy. I don't even know if we've got the repair thing over here. Nope. You get the repair thing here, so why don't you move to there? You can finish off your repairs slightly faster. Okay, we're closing in. We're probably going to buy this soon. It'd be nice if we got a little discount, though, right before we hit the Diplo cap. Maybe we won't, and this whole thing will have been an exercise in, in mootness. You go there, you go there. New World Missions has expired. We definitely want to keep that. Boom. Oh, many modifiers all triggering at the same time. Uh, we would like to seek support of the clergy, get you over 50%, giving us 100 admin from this. Thank you very much. We can demand military support over here. You're still above 40%, which is great. Oh, there you go. We can hit this, giving you some influence. I don't know if 35 is going to be enough. I'm going to hit it anyway. Now it doesn't get us anywhere important, but still, having you be a little bit better is going to be better for us. It's fine. Been repairing yet? Nope. Well, I'm happy I moved you anyway. I thought you, yeah, I think we'll be okay, actually. I don't think I'm even that concerned with moving with some ships down here. I mean, do I want to just go down here and conquer some of this shit? Some of these are tributaries.
I don't know what that means in terms of piecing out. I think it means I don't really care. God damn it, repair already. Maybe, I don't know. Mothballing those ships is still the right way to go, but it's a little bit annoying. So, we're nearly done annexing over there. Ming. Yeah, we gotta break the Ming more so that these people leave. Uh, that's a lot of money for some mandate. I'm just gonna take the, uh, the hit since we do have to go and and embrace an institution. It's speed four. Come on. Chop, chop. There we go. 100%. That looks pretty good. Uh, various people are doing war things. I don't think they even got ships buzzing around. I mean, I'll tell you what. I'll go and blockade just so that I can get some contribution to the war. Maybe I'll get a couple of bucks. Local traders demand aid. Lose money. We keep getting this. It's one province. You know what? Eat it. I don't care about you anymore. Okay, I can embrace institution. Yes, indeed. And wait a little bit longer. We're still hoping we might just be able to sneak in a discount. Oh, there's nothing to blockade over there. Okay. Doo -doo. Oh, we're about to get a naval fight. As these ships get ejected, but we should be able to crush them easily. No captured ships. Oh, well. And then move over here. There we go. And I think we're just going to chill there. Let that happen. We've contributed! So you're still doing trade here. So again, 73%, 89%, and that's with the autonomy. Things will get a little bit better. One of our advisors died. Cores, cores, cores. Uh, I don't think we're going to buy... Um, we're going to get anyone special from the estates. We've got plenty of money. I don't think I need the improved relations. I don't think, don't think I need the diplo rep, but do I really need the spy network stuff? All kind of sort of not really. But I think I do want to pay for a level 3 dude. Although, you know what? Maybe I'll get the level 2 trade advisor. We'll save, like, you know, over 6 bucks a month, plus make some money from this guy, whereas the others won't do that. Alright, tell you what, we'll just do that. That's going to be okay. Um, what's the one decision I can take? The, oh, the, at least privateers. We'd have to get maritime ideas, and then we can embargo like crazy and stuff, but that's okay. Um, oh, we are fighting, but there we go. Another meaningless fight. Nothing captured. The war is going good for Ayutthaya. So this should get us a little bit of trust. Integration is complete. Excellent. Excellent. And we're building coffee somewhere. Cherry Blossom Festival. That's a lot of money. And that's not a lot of admin. That's a lot of money. We can build two manufacturers with that. I'm going to take the money. We're very, we're getting very close to the cap. 1178 is our current cap. Might go up slightly higher if another year ticks by and we get, you know, the bigger penalty from our institutions. But we're very close. So again, the plan is embrace the institution, get some tech levels, and then we may consider doing the state thing. We should probably wait for some of the inherent um, autonomy to drop down here before we decide to state them. But that's probably what's going to end up happening. Dive yet, military alliance with an enemy. Okay, that's fine. We'll have to make a pass through here to see if there's anyone who's... Royal influence. Missionary strength. Oh, right. Either way, we get Animist. There. We'll do the local unrest, and we'll be able to convert them faster afterwards. Yeah, we're very close to the cap here. Mm -hmm. Military leader is left. To oh, it's just the general. That's okay. Radical reforms. Ooh. Right, so this loses two of our leaders. We'll have to rehire them and spend money to do that. But it gives us a ton of power points. Or five mercantilism. That's 500 points worth, but loses stability. Hmm. You know what? So effectively, call this one a 400-point game. If we, if we value the stability at about 100 and the mercantilism at about 100 each, that's about a 400-point game. This is also a 400-point game, but we'd have to spend money rehiring some people. So I think I'll just grab the mercantilism. Losing the stability. Uh, colonial enthusiasm has triggered. Nice. Doesn't that give us a new mission? No current mission. That seems a little bit odd, but I'm betting we'll get one in a second. I think we're going to have to embrace. Well, we're going to save four gold. There you go. Maybe because some of the inflation burned off. That's, that may be literally it. But yeah, because we're about to be capped here. We could technically go one more month, but what's the point? So we'll embrace. It'll actually give us plus one um, merchant at the same time. 
We are now over cap on a few of our um, techs. Now, again, I could do some state core in here, but I think I can afford to wait a little bit. Um, we'll catch up an admin. be nice to get an idea group at the same time. Oh, yeah, you get your admin efficiency over here as well. And the ability to start building universities. And we're going to want a few of those for the Enlightenment. There you go. Slightly ahead of time and close to our next idea group, which is wonderful. Um, I'm going to have to pay the ahead of time penalty on this Diplotech. We're still going to have tons of points banked over here, but that's going to be A-OK. -okay. We don't have unbalanced research. We actually get a corruption decrease from being ahead of time on things. Lots of bonus trade. We're very close to the military tech, but we're not going to be capped on that. So we can afford to wait until, you know, January or something and be quite content. So we still got, uh, well, you're not blockading because it's all been captured. So, I don't know. I'll just go and, and dock you over here. I should really build, I'm going to build a repair player. Oh, you're full. Hmm. Now, I'm not planning on doing development anywhere. Like, universities are basically not that helpful. Because they, they basically pay for their own building, right? They take up a slot, but they give you plus one slots. They give you the local development cost discount, but I'm not planning on doing a lot of development. However, they're incredibly important for the, the final one, Enlightenment. We've got time to do that, though. But this one here will spawn where there's university, and I think it spreads out of universities as well, even if it doesn't spread for you. Um, oh, it can only happen in Europe, so we can't get a trigger here. Um, manufactories can spawn anywhere where there's manufactories, and they spread out of manufactories. We're going to have a ton of these. Even if it doesn't start where we are, it's going to spread to us pretty easily, so I'm not too terribly concerned. We've got a free diplomat. So, no one wants to be a tributary. That's too bad. We could do war declarations. We could suck up to our tributaries a little bit more. Um, what I think we might do is suck up to neighboring countries. I mean, not Ming, though. Like, I want to exclude Ming. I don't know. Let's start on that. Where are you going to go? Great Britain. Well, you know what? We're not rivaled with them, so that might work. I mean, we might end up warring with them, but we'll see. We'll do some random sucking up. Maybe we can get some extra uh, tributaries out of this at some point. We'll see how that goes. So yeah, you guys are just going to chill over here. You have a fort that's not mothballed? Oh, because we entered into a war. Right. Let's go ahead and mothball our forts again. We only got the three, and that's fine. You get mothballed. Excellent. Oh, yeah, we could get more uh, splendor if we did have five universities. Okay, so there might be some value in building them early, just because we get this the credit for this. I think that's probably okay, then. Now, none of these places ha are special in any way in terms of where they get placed. Um, I think what I might do is focus in places... Like, Kyoto might be the place that's most likely to get bonus development for some reason. Um, the other thing is if the Enlightenment will spread out of universities, we might want to make sure there's one, say, on every continent. So let's get one in Pyongyang, just to say. Uh, High-value provinces would also be a good pick. So, I mean, why not build one in Beijing? Um, and then I'm going to build a couple more on my main island. Say, here. And it's got more slots, so maybe it's, you know, a higher development thing. I'm not really looking. And then, uh, this is all pretty crap land. And here. There we go. So, they'll spread out from these places. I think, is that five? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, six. I'm building six. No, this is something else. It's a manufacturer. So yes, I'm building five. Excellent. So that'll be another thing to, to complete over here. And so there's some value in building that early. Even though I don't really need the university bonus, I think you can get good events from it. So I think that's still a thing. So it's letting me know that I've got a bunch of stuff down. Uh, I can't get the military tech now. I think I'll wait another year. We shouldn't hit our peak. Any how many points? Eight per month? Yeah. Now, I can at this point, and I think I will, cancel... Uh, oh, no, I've already canceled Adventurers. All of these give us global settler increase. I want to keep these running. Cost be damned. I can't believe we don't have any missions. What's the deal with that? Oh, and we've got the bonus, bonus merchant still. So you've got steering there, which is good. Nothing comes into you. You've got that. Nothing comes into you here either. I don't think we need it, but I'm going to go ahead and transfer trade power here. 
because maybe we can we'll pull out a little bit more there's only one direction you can go so it's not about steering but maybe we can yank a little bit more stuff out of there send some ships there later these are uh, some extra light ships okay well I think we need to get a presence in Malacca protect trade in Malacca because there's actually a lot of money that goes through here so I would like a big slice of that pie and while we're talking about that there we go decisive victory I thought I was gonna get some land I got five bucks all right and it's an extra favor oh and I can get a new mission now turn turbo into a city I'm gonna take that because we're already working on it so that seems like a pretty good idea and if we had more money I'd build some trade buildings over here but we don't yet okay so everyone's busy doing things that's good suspicious Ooh, Jalaska mm-hmm that's all right I'm not that suspicious so we got no more warnings from having things not being maintained now because we're no longer in a war still never got this island here we may still want to do that that's another place like we'll well actually you know what we might want to do is steer trade towards Beijing instead of Malacca because we have tons of trade power there you know what that's what we're gonna do we're gonna transfer trade power uh the one in the Malacus we're gonna move you over here we're gonna make sure it goes up to Beijing if we can I don't know if we'll run ships here so it might not be a thing but that is the direction that we want things to move in so just wait for this guy to arrive Ming is doing some spy stuff and yeah there you go go to Werbs Beijing where we're collecting trade make that one more valuable I mean without more trade power here we're really gonna have a hard time doing it but uh, less trade efficiency it's just a year I mean it's only 25 diplo power You know what? Let's try to leave you at that. It's fine. Okay, we're gonna put a cut in here. Thank you very much for watching, folks. We are we're closing in on our manpower again. When's our truce expire? With uh, with Ming. Eight more years. Okay. We could consider going after Buryata over here. And we we sort of we've got a little bit of admin efficiency now, so we get a slight discount. And uh, we do want to you know take a little bit more. You're allied to. Anan and Korchin. I don't know where Anan is, but Korchin, we might be able to just um, to just vassalize you, which would be pretty nice. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to cancel this guy that's sucking up to Great Britain. And we are going to start fabricating some claims on Buryata. I mean, I think we have CBs anyway, but we're. I guess we could check. Diplomat view. No, we don't, actually. So we'll fabricate some claims over here. We'll see what we can do. But yeah, in the war, we might be able to get um, Korchin to become our vassal. And that would be really handy. We'll see how it goes. And then we'll take this province right here. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.